Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to use the revolved boss base feature in SolidWorks. So let's select a sketch plane and get started. So for this I'm going to choose the front plane, click normal to, go ahead to the sketch window, click on sketch, um, select a line. So what I'm trying to draw here is a hemispherical surface or a hemispherical uh, volume. So what I'm going to do is draw a straight line. Like that. And then click on a center point arc. Select point one, and then select point two, where it's directly horizontal to the origin, and then finally complete that sketch into a shaded region sketch that gives me a quarter of a circle. So what I'm going to do in this is in order to make a hemisphere, I have to revolve this quarter circle along this line right here. So in order to do that, click on features, click on revolved boss base. Once you do that, it will ask you to select an axis of revolution. And I select this line to be my axis of revolution, and it will revolve it along that line. Now suppose I want to choose a different line. It will revolve it this direction. So it really depends on whatever direction you want to choose. So let's go back and choose this direction. And you can also choose um, the amount of uh, angular turn it makes along this axis of revolution. So let's say, for example, I chose 90 degrees. So it's going to revolve this contour or this circle, this quarter circle, 90 degrees along this axis of revolution. So you can choose according to your requirement how much you want this angle to be. I'm just going to choose it to be 360 because I'm drawing a hemisphere. And then you click OK and there's your hemisphere. It's as simple as that. Now let's go ahead and give you guys another example. So I'm going to click undo and I'm going to click on the sketch, delete what I had. And now let's, let's draw or let's make, um, a cylindrical part, let's say for example. So I'm going to draw a straight line or a rectangle as my contour and I think so seeing what I did in my last example you can predict which axis you want to revolve this rectangle around so let's go ahead and click on features again revolve boss base and now you see if it's SOLIDWORKS has this tendency to select random lines based on what it thinks you want but you can always click delete on whatever there is. And since we wanted to make a cylinder, I just select the leftmost line that passes through the origin. And that's my cylinder. I can also select this one and it will be like that. This direction it is a cylinder technically, but it becomes more like a disc. So if you're trying to make a disc, just select this axis as your axis of revolution and you'll have your disc. 
So let's select this guy and click OK. Now you notice that in order to define the height of the cylinder, all I have to do is click on my sketch, click edit, and then look at it at a normal angle. All you do is click smart dimension, three inches, and let's keep the width to be two inches. Or let's make it one so that it looks better. All right, click OK, exit sketch, and there you have it. That's what your cylinder looks like. Hope these two examples help. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.